Blender, we are going to add a cylinder that will represent our row, and we will set the vertices of the cylinder, for example, to 12. Then in edit mode, we are going to scale down the cylinder, and also we have to make sure that it is lined up with the red line like so. Then we are going to select the top vertices, and we will move them up by 5 numbers. After that, we are going to add loop cuts around the cylinder. Next, we are going to add an armature. In edit mode, we are going to add bones of the same height, and we make sure that the bones are lined up with the loop cuts. And on the top, we add one more extra bone, otherwise for some reason, the end of the rope will move weirdly with physics. If we get all of this, we can export it into our Godot project. In Godot, we are going to open our rope object and create a rigid body node with a collision shape, and we will match the collision shape size to the bone. Then, we are going to save it as a scene, and we can call it rope body. Then I drag and drop my prepare script on the rope node. After that, I just select the skeleton part, drag and drop our rope body and we are done. One last thing, in our rope body scene we go to the axis lock tab and click on the angular Y checkbox. This will prevent the rope making weird shapes. And voila, here is the rope script for you.